Veloutés are all the rage in restaurants at the moment, and basically a velouté is a really smooth puree and a little bit lighter. We're gonna do a celeriac one this time. I'm just gonna take the skin off. Just wanna chop this into cubes. So once I've done, I'm done dicing this, we'll go into a pot with about one cup of milk and about one cup of chicken stock. We're gonna poach that until it's nice and tender, tender enough to be able to blitz. We're gonna finish with some burnt butter and some sage. So I'm just gonna burn the butter off, add some sage to it and some lemon juice and finish with, um, with that on top. While our celeriac poaches in there, I'm going to create a cartouche, which is just a loose fitting lid, which sits on top of the fluid that we're poaching in. So get yourself a bit of baking paper, fold it in half, and in half again. And then almost like you're making a paper airplane, you're folding it into a triangle. And then you wanna measure from the middle of your pot to the outside. And your cartouche there. And when that opens up, you'll have a little lid which you can push down on top of our liquid and nothing gets out. That's been cooking for a good 45 minutes and you can see we've separated out um, the solids from the liquid. So we've got to re-emulsify that and bring it all back together, which is why we need to, so we need to bring them back together. Just add a little bit more milk and then blitz that up. So I'm gonna blitz without the butter first and then get it um, pretty much 90% there. And then I'll burn my butter and add that butter to the velouté right at the end and blitz that in. So I'll turn that off. And now I just want to burn my butter. So I'm going to add some of our butter into our saucepan. So once we get to that point where it starts to go golden brown and we start to smell that, that toasty um, burnt flavour, we're going to add some lemon juice to it, to take the heat out of the pan and some sage and just let that cook off for the last 30, 45 seconds. And then we'll add that to our, um, our velouté and blitz that sage flavoured burnt butter through our velouté. Now everything has come together for our velouté. You can see it's nice and airy. There are bubbles in there, which is what we want. And pop that into a bowl. 